Hey YouTube, NFL Report with Shane here, back with another video. Like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you guys are here every video I post. So today I'll be talking about the Giants versus the Philadelphia Eagles prediction, who I think is going to win, and how this will affect the division of the NFC East. So this is a very important game for both teams. If the Eagles win, they'll actually have a very secure spot for first place in the NFC East. We are 3-4 in one tie. The Giants are 2-7, and that's not that good. So both teams always put up a fight against each other. A team can be 8-0 and in their division, playing a 2-1-7 and team, and a 1-7 and team puts up a fight. So every team I'm basically saying puts up a fight if it's a divisional game. I feel like the Eagles are going to win this game. I feel like the Eagles are going to have a great game on offense and a great game on defense. I feel like this is going to be one of our first complete games. I feel like it will be a little close, not that close. I think it will be a little of a blowout. But I think the Eagles are going to win this game 31-13. to And now let me tell you the keys to winning for the Eagles. The keys to winning is we need good offensive line play this week. It's a very important week for good offensive line play. If we don't have that, we're going to lose this game. Another key to winning is we need a good D-line like last time. We need them to be ready to hit Daniel Jones because Daniel Jones has a fumbling problem. Number three, I say we need a good Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz has been 50-50 all year. Some games he's been terrible, like really, really bad. So we need a good Carson Wentz this game. If we get that, I think we should definitely win this game by 31-13. And I'd say the keys to winning for the Giants are they need a good defense this game. Like last time, but they lost last time. They need a good defense. Daniel Jones, not to fumble the ball. And you guys need your offensive line to play well. If your offensive line doesn't play well, you guys are going to lose bad, bad. It's basically like the Eagles scenarios. The Giants are basically pretty much the same team as the Eagles. And the reason I think it might not be a blowout for the Eagles to win, it's because Joe Judge, the Giants head coach, always makes every game close for the Giants. He does, seriously. They barely lost to the Buccaneers. They barely lost to the 8-0 Pittsburgh Steelers. This team likes to put up fights, which I love that this team wants to put up fights. Their coach is okay with losing if they put up a fight. So I feel like it's going to be a good game. I feel like the Eagles are going to win and move to 4-4 and one tie. And if the football team loses, and we could be having a very good spot in the NFC East. But if the Giants win, football team, and then the football team loses, Giants could be a game behind the Eagles. And let me tell you guys something. So there's this YouTuber named Philly500. And there's this guy named Kapizzle who made, like, a bet with him saying he got to the NFC East belt if the Giants win on Sunday. But Philly 500 uh, says if the Giants lose, then Philly 500 gets to go on Kapizzle's channel with other YouTubers. So I'm just saying, Philly 500, put me in there. I want to be in that. That would be funny. Please put me in there. I heard you're going to put other tons of Eagles fans in there just to make it funny. So put me in there. Like and subscribe and turn on notifications. Bye, YouTube.